As the winter drags on, its cost is only going higher. Last month, storms reportedly cost airlines $150 million. Then there are those mounting costs to communities and, of course, millions of homeowners. Cities and towns across the areas hardest hit by winter's wrath are having the same problem, dwindling budgets to pay for cleaning up after storms. It, it is tough. We're right there, just about getting ready to go over budget. We're already $66,000 over budget because of the storms this year. That money going to pay plow operators who have to clear the streets and for the salt they spread, which in many places is in shockingly short supply. Just yesterday, the price doubled actually, so if it costs $300 to fill a truck up, now it's $600. Also in short supply in places that have had unusually cold weather, propane, and that means higher heating bills. You have to fill it all at once, so it kind of, you know, hits you like a ton of bricks. Well, they're not happy with the price. I mean, neither are we. I just want to make sure everyone knows we're not gouging anyone. Then there was last week's highway mess in and around Atlanta that damaged so many vehicles. Now it's time to pay up. Some body shops are seeing 10 times as many cars that need repairs. Hail storms are nightmares, floods are nightmares, snow is absolutely the worst. For millions, the first day of spring can't come soon enough. It is March 20th, only six weeks from tomorrow. Man, oh man, we need some relief. One of the things, hidden costs here, or not so hidden costs, there are a ton of potholes out there when you're on oh, the road. yeah. And you hit some of these things really hard. There was a story in New York where 16 cars in a row hit the same pothole, and they all wound up at the same auto body shop, and they had hundreds and hundreds of dollars of repairs. Oh, my so goodness. So it's just, the costs are all out there. Such a mess. And then you have to go, keep going home and shoveling, right? Oh, I went home and shoveled in the morning. I got home right after this shift. At like, it was still dark. And I thought I was going to pull into my driveway. Well, the snow plow, you know, pushed all the snow off the street, built up like a four foot wall right at my driveway. And this is the heaviest snow I've ever had to shovel. So you got your workout in. I'm telling you what, I got my workout in. It took me a long time to get my car just a little eight feet inside the, the, the driveway. It took me an hour. And you're gonna be doing it again today, my friend? Probably right. Ooh, sorry, all right.